Bethesda Game Studios. Presents. Seventh, twenty three thirty. I'll use extractors and mining outposts. I'm gonna have vector. Seals are good, oxygen's good. Just do what you did last time, and you're fine. Follow my one simple rule. Hella. What's my one simple rule? Listen to Lynn. Boss lady knows best. Exactly. Listen to me. Mining's just like any other job. Go steady. Go safe. Go home with a pocket full of credits at the end of the day. Yeah, totally. It's just like, um, yeah, I work in the Stardock. Except, uh, with more cave-ins, lasers, and accidental dismemberment. Very helpful. Thank you. Ah, uh, you're gonna be fine. Your first outing was solid. And, you know, let's be honest, it ain't exactly astrophysics. That's why I keep him around. Good pep talks. Yeah, and the fact that I can pinpoint a helium deposit from 300 meters. <laughs> Not untrue. A shame we won't find any down here. But the metal deposits alone should pay for our own helium. Hell, after this, we'll have enough jump fuel to bounce from one end of the settled systems to the next. Hey, more minerals, more money. And so the cycle repeats itself. Just... No more unauthorized jumps in the house for room space, okay? He's just a big baby. There are worse lives. You know, most Dusties don't even make it this far. I have a good feeling about you. A uh, group hug now or at the end of the shift? <sighs> One of these days, Hella, I am going to leave you behind. Promises, promises. Grab some samples? Always. Uh, but not you. Check on Isabel. Make sure she eases up on the breach. I don't feel like getting buried alive today. Roger that. Remember, Dusty. Keep your breathing steady. And never take that helmet off down here. Oxygen processors don't extend this far. Yeah. Because God forbid we drill on a rock with breathable atmosphere. You know what I love about working in Freestar Collective Space? Fewer regs. A job like this in the United Colonies? Huh. Dreams of red tape. Ugh. Look at this one over here. Calva! No! Ah, no, no, no! It's a laser, not a sledgehammer! Ease up! Benning, if you got paid per break, you'd be a millionaire! Let's go! Yeah, yeah. What do we say, Dusty? You make your cut, you get your cut. No exception. Come on, pick it up! Troy, what's the yield? Minimal at this point. Occasional glimmer, but it... I gotta get some water.
Dusty, you're up. Grab a cutter and mine what you can. Metal deposits are in that cavern. I'll shout out when I need you. Sucker, you to join. Fall for the fancy pamphlets. Lynn, sure seems to be fitting in okay. Ugh, shifts seem to be getting longer. That's Argos for you. Squeeze every credit they can. I'm busy. Now they even try to talk to you. Another job. Come on. We're getting close, I think. Yeah, everything is just. <laughs> Lynn, seriously, uh, there's something really effed up about this. Where is it, Hella? Through there, I think. Okay, you, you're up. Something goes wrong in there, we'll come get you. Oh, thanks. Uh, <laughs> why would anything go wrong? Would you shut up? going on. Come on. Come on. Okay, take it easy. You were out cold. Uh, no physical damage. Mentally, the jury's still out. You know who you are? New recruit for Argos Extractors? Ring any bells? Any of this look familiar?
background. Alright. Beast Hunter. Bouncer. Bounty Hunter. Chef. Industrialist. Space scoundrel. Xenobiologist. I think I need either I'm gonna go diplomat. Traits. Alien DNA. Increased health. Booster Collective Settler. <clears throat> Neon Street Rack. Raised Enlightenment. Extrovert. Parents are alive. Kiss. Then, uh, 
Atticus Peabody. What's a sick last name? Atticus Talon. I just looked at a Twi Twix bar, so Atticus Twix. God, former diplomat, right? You must have said the wrong words to the wrong people to wind up here. Well, you got the sample. Client's on his way, then we all get paid. You remember anything that happened? Easy there, high flyer. Probably just the endorphins kicking in when you passed out. Don't go having an experience on me. You'll walk it off. More importantly, we got what we were looking for. All this trouble for that stupid thing? Huh. Sure don't look like much. Never mind what it looks like. It's worth more than this mine has pulled in all month. We'll be... Speak of the devil. Constellation contact is on approach. Wait, the Explorers group? <laughs> I thought they were kind of a joke. Not a joke. You're just too young to know better. Hey, I'm just saying they got a reputation. Hell, I bet half the crew here doesn't even believe they really exist. Half the crew doesn't believe Earth exists, but it's still there. Same with Constellation. Yeah, come on. Exploring space? Whoa, Who does you that don't anymore? Look good. Ain't the space we've already got complicated enough? Not to them, apparently. It's all Lynn Holly up here. Damn. All right, Dusty. Airlock. Put your helmet on. It has. That mine on Bindi, right? Kazal, hellhole, like this place. Rare mineral contract. Your tastes are a bit more sophisticated now, huh? So, you found something? Right here. The new guy found it. That right. And everything went cool? Just like grabbing those minerals on Bindi? Kazal, and no Barrett. Not cool. 
He passed out after the extraction. Woke up saying all kinds of nonsense. Is that right, cowboy? Went on a trip, huh? <laughs> that fun, huh? Not the most gentle push into the great mysteries of space, but hey, been there. Look, just hand over the credits, and I'll be happy to never see this thing, or you, ever again. Oh, you got some bad history. That's why I like you, Lynn. All business. Spirit, the scanners on the frontier are reporting a ship coming in hot from orbit. I really thought I lost them. Where's their ammo? Some fine work on the pressure. Thank you dug you. up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions? You're coming with me to Constellation. You're part of this now. You ever that stare up at the stars at night wondering what's out there? Well, that's us. That's where we go. Marvelous. Oh, no, Barrett. No. You think you're just going to take off after the mess you caused? Oh, fair enough, so. All right. 
I guess I did just put you all on the Crimson Fleet hit list. How about I stay and I send your Dusty here in my place? I, 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 I know, I know, but he's not some miner anymore, Lynn. Soon as he touched that rock, something changed. Don't tell me you can't feel it. Fine. It's a deal. Get out of here, Dusty. You're on to bigger things. Just go. Before I say something I regret. Jeez. Well, none of that's settled. Vasco! Get him to the lodge! No deviations unless absolutely necessary, okay? Protocol Indigo. Indigo? Again. Very well. Oh, and hey, take this. You'll find it very useful out there. And it even tells the time. A watch? Hey, look at that. The watch fits you perfectly. Now, questions? They're just following the loop, like pirates do. And I have something of a reputation as a loot collector. That, my friend, is the million credit question. And Constellation can find the answer, with your help. See, that's the problem with the settled systems. Too easy to take everything for granted. While everyone else is busy playing politics, we're the ones braving the unknown, charting the vastness of space. Without us, the galaxy is just a big room with the lights turned out. Come on. You're really not at all curious about that light music show you experienced? Why it only affected you? Because if you didn't notice, we've all been handling it since with no problem. The way I see it, I didn't notice. Constellation needs that artifact, but they also need you. This mystery is only getting bigger each step we take. And you're part of it now. Technically, it's not even mine. Consider it alone. Vasco will keep you on course. Besides, I'm making an exception, since you can tell Constellation about that vision you had. And Vasco, don't let him break my ship. Get that artifact to Constellation. Staying around isn't helping us out any. Go. Make the delivery with Constellation. This is all one big write-off now. Hey, uh, hey, uh... Sounds like you've gotta go. It appears you are the new captain of the Frontier. Cool. Just up the ramp, Captain. I'll be in the external robotics bay. Captain Atticus, I assume you know how to fly a Class A starship. As Barrett likes to say, it's as easy as learning to ride a bike. I will attempt to boost the shields, just in case there are any difficulties.
ensure they are not on the verge of catastrophic failure. I can step you through the entire process, or if you're already an experienced pilot, just power up all the systems and we'll be on our way. Use it. Sucks up system. Alright.
know what we're doing. Now we know what we're doing. <clears throat> It might be wise to test all controls and systems to ensure they are not on the verge of catastrophic failure. I can step you through the entire process, or if you're already an experienced pilot, just power up all the systems and we'll be on our way. Fleet ships are jumping into our location. 
point. The odds of continual assault from their ships are high enough to jeopardize our mission. In short, they are after the frontier and will not stop. We will need to deal with the local Crimson Fleet captain. A recent scan indicates an abandoned facility on the nearby moon of Crete. A perfect staging area for pirates. That's where we're gonna end it. See you next time.